Now at six, allegations of broken promises. He know he's in the wrong. Questionable housing. And it's just, just basically feel. And a criminal past. Did you disclose your former conviction to your players? Claims a local sports program is not what it seems. It made me like not want to play football no more. It made me lose the love for it. The answers we found working for you in part two of the 10 News investigation. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. It was a post-grad experience for football players who came to Roanoke to follow their dreams that turned total nightmare. 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray joins us now. She's here in the studio tonight as our investigation into the program continues. Alyssa, we've heard from a lot of people after you brought to light these questions concerning some promises that the coach has been making. What else have you been able to find out? Yeah, guys, it started with a tip about questionable housing for the players. That's when we took a deeper look into the program. Tonight, we're investigating some questions from former players about the funding of South Forest Community Christian and the warning they have for other recruits. Juwan Griffin and Ramon Morrow Finley came to Roanoke to pursue their dream of playing football in college. But that dream quickly became a nightmare as their student housing, which instead of a hotel is stated in their recruitment letter, ended up being their coach's home, a place they say was filled with feces, roaches, and filth. I didn't see anything wrong with it at first. We just went to the living room. But then when I laid my head down, I see my first roach. I want to give it a, a, a chance on the inside. It, it's terrible. That was just the beginning of exposing a program the players say wasn't what it seemed. They shouldn't do it at all. They, they need to shut that down. That ain't um, that ain't what it. It ain't it ain't what was being advertised. It ain't what he's saying it is. What they saying it is. The players say Pope Mitchell, the athletic director and head coach of South Forest Community Christian, misrepresented his program as a junior college, something Mitchell says he never did. We are a club program that offers athletics. We offer men's and women's basketball, mm -hmm. and we offer football. To play for those club programs, you have to be enrolled through Community Christian College. But we ourselves are not an institute of higher learning, no man. Their conference, though, the National Post-Grad Athletic Association, has them listed on their website as SF Community Christian College, and Mitchell's recruitment letter referred to it as a JUCO, or junior college team. When the coach first did a Zoom call, uh, he was saying that, you know, this is an online school, but you'll be playing football. So you'll play football for like six months, and then you'll go home, you know, go back to your, your residence, and just do online classes. And I'm like, this just, it doesn't seem right. In that recruitment letter, Mitchell claimed he had a partnership with Community Christian College in California. I spoke with CCC's athletic director, Tracy Davis, who said he is familiar with Mitchell, but South Forest Community Christian is not affiliated with the college. Mitchell's statement suggests that CCC is involved in the funding for his SFCC program. So that's where our funding comes from, is that once they have taken classes through CCC, then those funds for that person will be released to us athletically. So CCC gives you funds if the kids enroll? Yes. But as we've reported, the Vice President of Compliance at CCC sent me this statement. There is no partnership, athletic or otherwise, with the entity, corporation, or business located in Roanoke, Virginia. SFCC Bobcats Athletic Twitter initially had a link to CCC's website. The day after our conversation with their AD, that link was taken down. When I asked when the players will get their $500 deposits back, Mitchell blamed the college. Why would you have to wait till the end of the, that semester to get those? Uh, because that's, that when our, that's when our budget, uh, our funds are released, our, our, our budget is determined by semesters. Another athlete who still lives in Mitchell's home said the coach also told him that Community Christian College would return his deposit after the semester. CCC did not support these claims. And in a statement to 10 News, the college says that Pope Mitchell does not and has not ever received any money from CCC. He told you the same thing he told y'all, we can't get it back to September. And that's what the school told us too. What school? CCC. So they don't have your money. The family say he never said he was returning the money to them. In fact, they can't even get in touch with him. I have not spoken to him. He's actually blocked everyone, so we can't get in contact with him. I believe that he was recruiting like out-of-town kids to get that 500 yeah. or more 
you know, as the months go on. According to court documents obtained by 10 News, Mitchell was convicted of felony unlawful wounding in 2018 and was incarcerated. In a court filing, he shared with his probation officer that he would pay his court costs and fines in full on January 16, 2021, when he received $3,000 for his position of athletic director and head football coach of SF Community Christian School. Where did you plan to get that $3,000? Uh, from the money that I would have been paid uh, from my memorandum of understanding for the club program. We have yet to find any evidence of this memorandum. The only money we do know he received was through direct PayPal payments to him by the out-of-state players and their families who put their trust in him. My pops keep telling me everything is a lesson, everything uh, that happens you got to uh, look at it and learn from it. So from here on out, I don't trust nothing. As they left Roanoke, they had a warning for other college football hopefuls to be careful who you put your confidence in. Exposure is key, and I just want to know that this don't waste your money, don't waste your time, don't let your children go through something like this. If we can avoid one child being hurt like my son is, we've done our job. Juwan and Ramon left Roanoke shortly after our interview and are back in Kansas City pursuing other football opportunities. As of today, their deposits for housing haven't been refunded. Live in the studio, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you. Thank you, Alyssa. And if you would like to share your experience with SFCC, we posted a form for feedback at the end of this article on WSLS.com.